Step 1. String partition with Windows 10 built-in disk management. You have to create a separate partition to install Ubuntu. In your laptop, if there is no separate partition to install Ubuntu, you have to string the, parti uh, string the partition and create a separate partition to uh, install Ubuntu. Then you have to turn off fast startup in Windows 10. So I will show you how to turn off fast startup in Windows 10. That is a step 2. So go to in your Windows 10 system, go to control panel, then click on this system and security. then this power option select that then select this choose what the power button do click on that one Then I already turned off fast startup. In your system, if it's turned on, you have to make it off. For that, you have to click on this change setting that are currently unavailable. Then only that uh, checkbox get activated. Now. If you scroll down, now that checkbox is enabled, now you can click on that checkbox. Earlier it was disabled. Okay, now you can turn it on or off. Then click on this save changes. Step 3 disabling secure boot so i will show you how to disable secure boot in bios so for that we need to power on the system then press this f2 button So this step will be different in different system. In this system, I have to press F2 while booting to go to the BIOS settings. So here, in the top, you can see main, advanced, security, boot, and exit. So we have to select, I think we have to select the boot option the fourth one here you can see secure boot secure boot is already disabled so if it's enabled in your system you have to make it disabled once disabled you have to save the settings step 4 we need to create a bootable Ubuntu USB and connect to the laptop. So you can create an Ubuntu USB using Ubuntu ISO file. Then connect that USB to the laptop. After that we need to change boot order to boot from USB. You can change the boot order in BIOS. So for that we need to again restart the system and you need to restart and press F2 button so 
so I made it off let me start it so here you can see I have to press F2 F12 F12 to get boot option so here you can see boot manager in boot manager you can see uh, the boot order HDD1 UEF1 IPv4 UF UFI IPv6 then USB1 so select this one this is a USB which I connected to this laptop select this one and press enter and you can see system will system is booting from the USB drive so here you can you have to select install Ubuntu option and press enter now you can see it's booting booting from the USB drive then just follow the steps installation steps so first select the here you have to select the language English then press continue then here you, you can see the network wireless network which uh, network card which I connected to this this laptop so if you want to use internet during installation you have to select the wireless Wi-Fi device which you are using and enter the Wi-Fi password so actually we can skip this step if you don't want so it's connecting to Wi-Fi ok it's connected now click on continue so here everything is fine so click on continue So here we have to select we have to select the last option something else so there you can create resize at partition yourself or change multiple partitions for Ubuntu so select that one and click on continue button so here you can see all the partitions so windows boot manager in slash dev sda1 is an ef5 
the boot do windows boot manager then You can see SD7 is 322 GB. So let me remove this swap. So I am going to remove this swap space. So SD6 I removed. Then you can see the free space there then in STS 7 I am going to make it ext4 and so in STS 7 format that and mount point select the slash then ok click on continue so, so in slash dev sts7 I am going to install Ubuntu so you can see scanning this it's done then I need to create swap, swap space or swap partition so for that I am going to create a swap partition in this free space select logical then here you have to select swap area then it's ok click on ok button ok it's created swap partition sdi6 then here ok let me select it so I just uncheck it let me check it again ok so SDS 7 this is where I am going to install Ubuntu then here we don't need to make any change just leave it like that then click on install now then continue here you can select your location
then select keyboard layout then here you are doing you have to enter username and password so you have to you can give your name then password some password you can give so this is the default user then click on continue so now you can see installation started so here you can see it's installing system once it's completed it will reboot the laptop so it is retrieving files one of three so it will take time some time so once it's once it complete you can see a uh, pop-up window with a uh, restart option so in that pop uh, restart option you have to click on that restart button th then the laptop will restart so after that you can see this options you can see it's ubuntu is there then windows option is there so that means it installed ubuntu so you can also see the windows option so you can switch in between windows and ubuntu you can go to windows or you can go to ubuntu so i installed these two two opera system in same machine so now it's a dual boot system with windows 10 and ubuntu 14.04 okay